It's a beautiful evening, so I thought I'd do this vlog on the porch once again. The sun's going down, and I'm reminded of that song by Frankie Beverly and Mays. There's a time in your life when the sun's going down. It's beautiful today. It was a gorgeous day today, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's time for my vlog post. Because it's so windy, it's beautiful, but it's very windy. My vlog blew off of the banister. So I'm going to have to look down and read it. But this one's for all of us. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, I'm Linda the Old Bird with Gotta Be Hand May. The title of this vlog is What Do You Do? When you are a hugger. For those of us who were born with a special need to hold on to a finger, what do you do now? I'm one of those. As a child, when a baby would cry, I'd go over and tell them, it's okay, don't cry and give them a little hug or a little pat. Not now. A few weeks ago when I went to church, I saw my friend. I sent him cards and notes in the mail. Sometimes I take him surprises and give them to him at church. He never feels well. When I saw him, I ran over and asked him something, and he told me. Then I gave him a kiss on the cheek and a little hug. I love hearing him say, Oh, Linda. Another friend gave me a horrified look. The pastor said, we should refrain from hugging today. And I almost died. In those few seconds of gladness, I had forgotten social distancing. I remember thinking, once again, this stuff only happens to me and I love Lucy. My sister tells me that all the time. Only you and I love Lucy. Pray. Boy, I prayed like I've never prayed before. Lord, please. Don't even let him catch a cold. Don't let anything happen to my friend because of my actions. Lord, protect him from my foolishness. I was saddened that I had come close to my friend, and I was heartbroken that I had touched him. I was ashamed and even left early because of my failure. I don't want anything to happen that will put others in danger. I can't put myself in harm's way because of my husband's illnesses. So what do you do when you are a hugger? You practice social distancing to the utmost to protect yourself and society from this horrible virus. If I can do it, so can you. Six feet away when you must go out. Wear your mask and wear your gloves. We will get through this 
by God's amazing grace. As a born hugger, I learned a great lesson from this experience. My lips and my arms will only wrap around my husband and then only after I've washed my hands. Now this one is definitely both a skyscraper and a rooster.